Edison Eagles, it's Mr. Slowey, and it is the ENN Edison News Network, and it is January 6th, you're going to hear it, 2021. Hey, I hope everyone had a great break. We have a lot of announcements today. Just got off a meeting of, about a half an hour ago with um, your parents. It's uh, I'm actually recording this in the evening, so it's actually January 5th, but you're going to be watching this January 6th. Uh, we, had a, we had a meeting with many of your parents regarding scheduling, just so you know. All of you will be scheduling in your science classes. Big shout out to student services and our counselors coming in to work with you, but then also our science uh, department for their support through this process as well. Sixth and seventh graders, you'll be scheduling for your classes next year at Edison. And uh, eighth graders, travel counselors will be coming over to support you in your decision making for your courses over there for next year. Hey, looking forward to that. I'm gonna send it right now to that is an edge to Ms. Koontzman. I know she's got some winners and she's really excited to share those with you. So Ms. Koontzman, take it away. Good morning, Edison Eagles. Welcome back. I hope you had a nice and relaxing winter break. Today, I'm gonna to announce the Edison Edge winners of the week. We were looking for students who followed the Edison Edge, being safe, responsible, being respectful, and friendly. And the winners are Pearl Bain, Amberly Gutierrez, Marley Mua, Grace Masio, Addison Crossert, and Tomas Flores. Congratulations. Watch your mailboxes over the next couple days. How to be a winner next week? We're looking for students who are being responsible, turning your cameras on, and keeping them on during your classes. So good luck. We also have our Teacher Edison Edge, building community, being collaborative, focusing on learning, and bringing positive energy. And the winner is this week, Ms. Van Dam, one of our sixth grade teachers. She was nominated by a colleague in all four areas. Ms. Van Dam always has positive energy she brings to the table for students and coworkers alike. She also is willing to share ideas, even with people not on her direct team. She rocks. Congratulations, Ms. Van Dam. And for you Edison Eagles, remember, turn your cameras on, be responsible, and you could be a winner next week. All right, Ms. Koontzman, thank you very much. And congratulations to all those living the Edison edge. We are going to now send it off to Ms. Skog. She has many, many opportunities. A lot of things starting up here in 2021. So we're gonna send it over to her, Ms. Skog, take it away. Good Wednesday morning, Edison Eagles, Mrs. Skog here, coming at you with your weekly activities and athletics announcements. We have a full list today, uh, almost two pages, I think, of announcements. So here we go. We have a new club at Edison. This club hasn't existed since I've been at Edison, I don't think, but we have a new science club. And here is a video to introduce you to Science Club that is being held by Mrs. Kirst and Mrs. Tennyson. Edison. And if you don't know me, I'm Mrs. Tennyson, and I teach seventh grade life science. And I'm Mrs. Kirst, and I teach sixth grade sciences. And this year, Ms. Tennyson and I are going to bring you something really exciting. Ms. Kirst and I are starting a science club. This club is for those who are curious about how the world works around them. We will witness and observe phenomenon around us, then ask questions and investigate through experiments as to why these things are happening in the world around us. If you are interested in joining us, our first meeting is going to be this Tuesday, January 12th from 2.45 to 3.45. Please email Ms. Kirst or myself, Ms. Tennyson, and we will send you the Zoom link. Let us know if you have any questions or concerns, and we can't wait to see you there and get started exploring and experimenting together wait to see how many students will be involved in the science club and gizmo says here's gizmo gizmo says that he wants you to get involved in student council 
So here is Ms. Jamali and Ms. Bush with your student council update. Student council? What is that? Are you in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade? Are you a leader and a team player? Do you want to get your voice heard and represent your peers all while having important meetings with school officials? Do you want to help plan and promote future dances, spirit weeks, fundraisers, and pep rallies at Edison and do some good for our community? If you answered yes to any of these questions, please consider joining Student Council this year and get involved. Student Council helps Edison become a better place to learn and grow and exist. We just last year purchased two microwaves and carts so that students could use microwaves in the cafeteria because that is what the students demanded. We also purchased a vending machine for healthy snacks that students could use during the day. Let's take a look and see what else Student Council has promoted and organized over the last few years at Edison. Thank you, Ms. Jamali and Ms. DeBush, and hope you can get involved in student council. Girls basketball. It is not too late to sign up for girls basketball, even though it starts this week. We'd still love to see you join. 7th and 8th grade both have virtual practices on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 7th um, grade started yesterday, uh, and 8th grade starts tomorrow, but it's, again, it's not too late to join. I will be posting the signups in your Google Classrooms um, for you to sign up for that. Same thing with wrestling. Wrestling starts today. Uh, Mr. Brigham will have the link he will be sending out for your Zoom meet for wrestling. And again, it's not too late to sign up. All grades are welcome. Show choir, if you're interested in being in the performance video, we'll see you at rehearsal next Tuesday. And our high school musical update this week, Troy and Gabriella will rehearse this afternoon from 3 to 4. Um, and Thursday, we'll see the entire cast from 3 to 4. Keep singing with the rehearsal tracks. 
on Google Classroom and start to memorize your lines. If you haven't already, read the rehearsal schedule posted on Google Classroom. Forensics will be meeting today at 10 a.m. Check your Google Classroom for the Zoom meeting link. In the meantime, remember to be working and practicing on your pieces or adding more to your scripts. Mac scholars, we will meet Wednesday, to that's today, at noon. Check your Google Classroom <clears throat> or your Google Calendar for the Zoom meeting link. Again, um, there's so much stuff going on there um, for you to get involved in. So many fun things. Uh, we uh, can't wait to see you in some of these new clubs and hope you have a great Wednesday and a great rest of your week. All right, Miss Gog, I appreciate it. Thanks for all you do. And Miss Blyer has a special announcement for all of you on how to finish this semester strong. We have a couple weeks left. Let's finish this strong. Miss Blyer, let's hear your message. Hey, Edison Eagles, it's Mrs. Blyer here. And I'm coming to you today with a message to keep pushing forward. We are getting close to the end of the grading period, but we're not there yet. So we can't put on the brakes and slow down. Right now, it's our time to keep on pushing forward. And I've got some tips for you today for things that you can do to help boost your grade and make sure that you're finishing strong in this grading period. So the end of the grading period is going to be Friday, January 15th. And the first tip that I have for you is to reach out to your teacher. Connect with your teacher either via email. Um, you can do the chat. Um, you could also stay after class for a bit and just connect with your teacher to see what it is that you can do to boost your grade. Another tip that I have for you to do is to attend class and participate. Really think about what participate means for you. That might be chatting answers in the chat feature. That might mean having your camera on. That might mean completing your work that's assigned or staying on during the time that your teacher has for independent work time to see if you have any questions. And that's my next tip. Ask questions in class. Be sure that if there's something that you don't understand, that you find a way to connect with your teacher so that they know they need to reinforce what they're teaching. The biggest tip that I have for you, though, is to put in your best effort. Make sure that every day you're showing up being the best you possible. I think about this success um, iceberg illustration here, and what people see at the top is good grades. What people don't always see on the bottom is all of that hard work that it took to get there, the discipline, sometimes failing and not always making it the first time, but it's through failing and trying and learning that you see the success and the growth that people do. So I'm here for this positive message of encouragement. You've got this. Keep pushing forward. We all believe in you and we want to see you succeed. Reach out to your teachers if you have any questions, and we're here for you. All right. Thank you, Miss Blyer. What a great message you had for us today. Just so you know, it is once again January 6, 2021. It is a great time to restart, refocus, rejuvenate, re-energize, like Miss Blyer said. Work with those teachers right now. Let's finish the semester strong because it's right around the corner. Let's make it a great rest of the week here at Edison. Thank you all for all you do.